You're very welcome back to the show. Now, how do you fancy picking yourself up a piece of art worth thousands for very little? And the best bit is, it's all for charity. The auction named Incognito features over 1,500 pieces of art donated by artists around the country, with all the proceeds going to the Jack and Jill Children's Foundation. Now, join us in studio are artist Mo Kelly and uh, Hugo Jellett, CEO of the Jack and Jill's uh, Children's Foundation. You're very welcome, folks. Very Mo, welcome. you are one of the artists who donated work for this exhibition, but we can't show people what it is. We can't show people what you've done because it is, as the exhibition says, incognito. Mm -hmm. exactly. Can I explain a little bit how this works? Well, the pieces actually are signed on the back. So you don't know when you go in, you have no idea which artist you're buying. So you really are just buying what you love. You know, you're buying the things that appeal to you the most. So that's kind of the beauty of it. Wow. And of course, your art, and I know you very, very well, we go back a long time, your art is so beautiful. And just explain if I was to purchase what it would be that I would be purchasing and what kind of style you would go for. Well, that's, the, there are, I think, 1300 artists in this That's exhibition right. so I mean there really is something for everybody okay. there's an amazing variety of styles um, and I guess it's really just up to you kind of what what you want to what what you want to buy there's definitely something for everybody but of course yours are more landscape aren't they they and are mine specifically a, would be a bit yeah. more um, I guess landscape based and figurative you can tell what they are yeah. um, and I use um, charcoals and um, some gold leaf and silver leaf and kind of oh, iridescent yeah. So kind of people who know their art will be able to figure out who their favourite artists exactly. are and, Maybe they'll and know. sniff them out. Yeah. Hugo, you might just explain then you know, how it works in terms of if you want to go along. It's in the Solomon Gallery, which is in Dublin city centre today, but it, all the works are up on a website to look at in advance. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So you can go and have a look at them on incognito.ie in advance. There are but some on actually, screen. coming to the Solomon Gallery is, 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 the, is, the, is the real experience to have out of this because I, I, I can't imagine over the course of time that there have been... Uh, any group shows in this country that have the work of, of, of 12 or 1300 artists at once and the, 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 the onslaught to your senses of walking yeah. into a gallery with with that many styles, styles of most spoken about working in charcoal but there are photographers, there are pastel workers, there are oil paints, there are mm -hmm. And all postcard size. All postcard size and and, oh. and, it, and it offers you the real chance to be able to to do something you can't normally yeah. do in, in a gallery, no, which, is to, which is to walk straight past the ones well, that... Well, tell us, Hugo, how you went about doing this. You know, it's such a huge amount of artists and such a, such a huge you know, engagement from the artists involved to donate their, their work. Where did the idea come from and how did you get them to, to do the work for you? Well, Jack and Jill have, uh, have, have had a number of public art projects in the past. We were involved with with uh, with uh, with cows and pigs and eggs and hairs sculptures 3D Scu yeah. 3D Works, sculptures yeah. that were painted by by artists so we had a, a community of 3 or 400 artists including Mo who've done work with us before and we started there and then then Jack and Jill uh, also has a, its own community of, of of families that we care for all over the country so when we asked them if they had any uncles or cousins or sons or daughters or grandmothers <laughs> who are artists Plenty came from there as well, and 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 very quickly we ended up with this, with this, uh, with this opportunity, and people started coming to us and going, well, would it be possible to put my own name forward? We had this, we had this, we had this wonderful uh, approach from the Irish Prison Service, saying there are there are thirty uh, there are thirty artists who are in the prison system, and would it be possible for them to contribute? And it just built and built and built. So you got sacks of mail literally yeah. into the building. We had one of those incredible uh, month and a half that you don't get anymore with your postman, where he arrives in every day with actual lovely post that's not a bill. <laughs> and Hugo, well, of course, when you're choosing all the artists, or you said most of the artists actually chose you, they would like to be involved. What's the process then that happens? Because obviously, explaining to the, the viewer there that you actually, it's a blind charity event where they're obviously looking at the pictures and picking them for 50 euro is that right well, that's so. right I mean that that that, that also has been uh, that's been one of the really refreshing things about about this exhibition if you if you take away the the identity of the artist the visitor to the gallery has has no pressure on him mm. or her of course. apart from to choose something they like and also to choose something they can afford because because so often Collecting art is a, is, a, is a terrifying process for lots and lots there's, of people. There's some up there. Well, as, as an, you're, you're an artist yeah. yourself who's in the exhibition, but you were also a patron yesterday. You were mm. in 
the queue to get into the Solomon Gallery, yes. which apparently was around the block. Oh, I think it started at half four in the morning. Really? I think was the first wow. person possibly was there. We were there maybe about 10 to 10, and it actually opened at 10 officially. That's incredible. Wow. That's the footage from yesterday. Yeah, there. it wow. was amazing, though. It was actually really, really good fun. It was. I was talking to, there was another artist who was also exhibiting in the exhibition, so I was chatting to her. She was behind me, and then there was a lady who had driven up especially. And everybody had their notes, because obviously you can go yeah. online and kind of take it. They're yeah. all numbered. The so detective you have your, work, and you can exactly. say, well, I think so this you is people kind of looking and we were all trying to look in the window and see you know what's gone what's still there and yeah. you know but so it's, it's just it's, it's, it is exciting though because if I'd been there I would have been queuing Tommy because um, <laughs> yeah. I do love art but like that it's also what what speaks to you and what works for you and you're really the most important of thing, course absolutely you know? that's what it is it's an expression and your art particularly has been so widely scoped from Sienna Miller who's an, mm. a huge fan and then obviously the uh, Times Square exhibition yes. almost do you even say it's an exhibition when you're in Times Square <laughs> that's incredible tell us more about that yeah it was great it was my work was selected with those a, a handful of other artists as well and it was projected onto I think the biggest screen in Times Square and wow. um, so huh? it was fabulous <laughs> it was like a sort of a public art they were taking over it was called art takes Times Square and mm -hmm. um, see me exhibition created and uh, it was just something really special something really different bigger than a postcard uh, can I ask you more <laughs> uh, for, <laughs> as an artist though this strikes me as, as obviously great for such a worthwhile charity mm -hmm. as Jack and Jill but it's great for the artists involved because I guess you look at the amount of people you've got engaged into that's art it. and looking at artists and getting to know the work mm -hmm. of, of yeah, Irish that's artists. It. I mean, generally when you're exhibiting, it's either a solo show or maybe yeah. a small group show. So this was just, you know, to be in such a huge artistic community and know that you're exhibiting with other great, you know, Irish artists mm -hmm. and international artists. And, and there's photographers in there as well. There's I saw Barry McCall in there, is there yeah. as well. He's yeah. the Irish... That's right, uh, Barry McCall, kind of our, our Alice, Alice, Alice Beresford. And, and, there's even and some ceramic. I saw some there is, ceramic. There are some three-dimensional three really? yeah. pieces. Okay, so it's a real mix. So That's why you've had stitch work. Um, you know, Hugo, before, yeah. before we go, can I just ask you? You hope to raise seventy-five thousand from this. As you can see, yesterday there was a huge uptake already, mm. but there is still Fabulous. a lot of work left. What difference can this make to the work that Jack and Jill does? Well, quite quite simply, for Jack and Jill, all of the money that we raise goes straight into home nursing care, and so seventy-five thousand euros, which we which is what we hope and. And I think um, we think mm. we're going to raise from Ju it. Judging by the keys, I think you will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll we'll buy us about three thousand two hundred hours of home nursing care around the country. So that's an enormously significant uh, a difference to Jack and Jill, Brilliant. and uh, and and an amazing fun for us to do. We 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 we, we try our, our our best to make sure that everything that that we do in Jack and Jill to fundraise has a creative or cultural interest and to the giver. So, yeah. so clever and, and, and imaginative and sort of, you know, it's, it's different, it's thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great idea. Guys, it's, thanks for joining we were us this there morning. Now, it's yeah, a bit of a shame. Thank you and so much. Well, for don't forget involved with it yourself. Congratulations. Thanks,